Great, thank you so much, Laura. And as you're filling this out, I'm just going to sort of fill the air with perhaps words of wisdom or words of hope is maybe the better thing. You know, you've been to these things before, you know, and, and I've always thought to myself, as you do something like this, like the exercise we've had today, there's, you know, the recapping from my perspective, and mind you, maybe actually it was fortuitous that I stepped away for a little bit to attend this, this uh, commencement of, of young women stepping out into the world. Because I was describing this to someone there. I said, you know, I was all geared up for a commencement address because I warmed up trying to get this going this morning and, and in fact, you know, trying to make the world of medical countermeasures and assessment and monitoring to, to make it graspable. And that was a difficult undertaking to start with. And so the commencement address, which was all about hope, right? The, the concept of commencement, right? If you go to the purity of the word commencement, it's not an end. It's a beginning, right? You commence something. And so I'm trying to sort of explain that, you know, stepping back into this and, and seeing where we've gotten to, although maybe realistically not having been here in the process, to where we've not gotten to is actually probably where we should be at this stage. You know, you've been to these things before where you kind of say, well, maybe after the first day we're all a little depressed. Right? We, we've talked ourselves through a little bit. What we've discussed is options. We've talked about you know, the definitions of the concept. We talked about EHRs and electronic health data. We talked about big data. We talked about alternative data sources. We talked about the stuff that we're trying to find. What do we need? Where does it exist? Are we capable of doing what we want to do? At the end of this first day, I think it allows us to reflect as you're filling out these papers, which is, you know, it goes back to what you keep hitting on, right? Tomorrow, are we going to feel different? Yes. Exactly. Why? Because we're all public health people. And public health people are innately optimistic, <laughs> right? If we're pessimists, then we've washed out in this profession. And here I'm bracing everybody in the public health room. If you're a clinician, if you're here in this room, we're talking about public health issues. So first and foremost, if you're feeling a little weird right now, saying, I don't know where we're going, give it time and a reflection. Now, at the end of this, are we going to solve the world's problems? You know, maybe it goes back to what John talked about earlier and others talked about, right? Is this a problem we need to throw more money at? Is that the panacea we're looking for? You know, you've been there as well, right? Throwing money at a problem without thinking through where we want to go and what we want to end up at is oftentimes a waste of money, right? We sometimes feel refreshed, right? It's cathartic to say, oh, well, look at, look at the budget that we gave to something. Now, the goal for tomorrow really is for us to start putting all this together. We're going to have a session tomorrow that talks about, yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about laws of the land. Let's talk about telling people you're going to be doing this. Right? We'll look at those approaches. We'll then have a panel of people who are, for the most part, within the federal system. Because the question is, who's going to do it? Right? Is this a federal responsibility? Right? Is Merck not have any role in all this, John? Do we have a model from your previous life? I'm glad you brought that up, where we just tell people to do it, right? I mean, a clinical network within DOD was kind of like, listen, I'm giving you this, and you will do it, right? It's an integrated system. It's an integrated system. <laughs> Is the answer that we hand that off if we had sort of many, many kind of frustrating discussions, right, from the local level, which is, oh, no, not more. Right? You're telling me to do more? I barely have enough people out there trying to do what we're trying to do. Right? Just giving, remember this morning at the term, giving the stuff out is hard enough. And even when we give the stuff out, I'm not sure where it's gone, and I'm not sure if it's used, and I'm not sure if it's really helping people. So this integration that we're all going to hopefully think about overnight, I don't want you to spend too much time this evening thinking about this. Those of you who are visiting the Washington DC area, it is gorgeous out there, right? And an important part of our lives is the work-life balance. Take a nice walk, have a great dinner. 
But somewhere in this evening time frame, begin thinking through this idea of how does this all come together and whose responsibility is it and what do we really need? Because the answer isn't tomorrow that we're not going to have it figured out. We're not going to have 100% figured out, but tomorrow we really need to have that sense of turning to our sponsors and saying, okay, again, not recommendations, we're handing them stuff, but in essence, based upon the minds in this room, based upon your perspectives, that we're heading in a direction that we weren't there before. We also have to be honest. I talked about the idea of optimism within the public health realm, and yet we need to have realism thrown in there as well. It's not pessimism, though. Pe pessimism. It's realism. And the sense is that we can't attain something unless something is done, right? Unless you provide something. And I need to have that. We can't just be aspirational as we put all this together. We need the sense of to be aspirational, this is what needs to happen. X leads to Y, Y leads to Z, and we can get there. Now, part of the approaches that we talked about a little bit now is, well, we utilize what we currently have. We build on what we have right now. We have the networks. How do we get those networks to talk to each other? Is that the right approach? Do we build something brand new? Do we set up a DOD approach where we basically say, as you will do this, if I'm giving you something in the midst of a public health emergency, you have to do it. And we'll figure out how, way, how, how, how do we do it. But in essence, that, it's that paternalistic approach. Is that the approach that, that, that needs to be taken? Do we centralize everything? Yeah, I mean, do we have the veritable clinical DMAT teams that are sent out in times of emergency? Right, trained entities that are already there that have some packages. And much like we send out these teams in the midst of natural disasters saying, you will take care of that population. You know, this is what we're doing. We're doing a clinical DMAT, clinical network DMAT team that goes in, that knows what they're doing, that takes into account the varied approaches, the varied medical countermeasures. Is that an option? So on the optimistic frame, on that point of view, I want everyone here to close their eyes a little bit. For a second. It's been a long day. Think of things that we've accomplished today. Think of the revelations of the vulnerabilities that we've exposed, the imperfections of the world around us. Think about what we're trying to achieve for the betterment of our capabilities to protect, promote, and advance the health and safety of our nation. You can open up your eyes, because that's what we're talking about, right? The burden is upon this room. It's upon you as individuals. It's upon your return, the, the importance of your return tomorrow, and to play an active role. It's about hearing others and listening to their approaches, but at the same time being forceful in your opinions and your real life experiences. So I thank you for everything you've brought to us today. It's been a long day. Tomorrow, we get together, similar schedule as today. Eight o'clock or so, there'll be refreshments out here. By 8.30, we get rolling. We'll keep ourselves on time tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think, Laura, the big change is gonna be we'll have similar type sessions in the morning, in the lunch. Post break, we determine, we'll, fee see, we'll feed off the idea of how it's going to be done tomorrow, right? We decided as a working group, we'll call audibles as necessary, but in essence is we want to go into a working mode for the afternoon. And how many groups we divide into will be dependent on how the turnout is tomorrow. No forced decision point at this, or forced, forced decision making at this point. We want this to be beneficial to all. So, any questions or observations? Anyone have a touchy-feeling thing to say? Darren, you're always good on these things. Say something. Warm and fuzzy. Warm and fuzzy. You feel warm and fuzzy, right? <laughs> Wasn't that great, that little contemplation? Exactly. We have a countermeasure for that, exactly. 
<laughs> I'm not sure if it works or not. Yeah. But anyhow, so we'll see you tomorrow. Um, I'll be hanging around here just for a little bit. And for new friends and old friends, I'd like to say hello. Um, and then tomorrow we'll be around again. So thank you so much for your attendance. Is there anything else that anybody needs to say? Thank you.